guys so today I have a video of finally in like a week um, I've been wanting to upload more videos this week but I've been really busy because so, um, coming to the holidays and all that and I get really busy at work so I haven't really like had any time to make any videos but I thought I wouldn't make one today just been busy working on like a few projects for my family and just been working and I get really tired when I come home so and it's kind of late when I come home so I don't think like the lighting is very good for the video but today I'm off and I thought I would make a video and I went to Target today too so I thought that I would share with you what a uh, new product that I bought that I wanted to review and give a first impression on so the product that I bought is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous which is this one right here and I've been wanting to get a foundation for like a few months um, a lot of my foundations are old and I don't really want to use it and um, I hardly ever use foundation on um, living in Hawaii because if you live in Hawaii you probably know the humidity is like so bad like your face just gets so oily and you just don't want to wear any like foundation or heavy makeup on your skin but I figure since the holidays are coming up and we're going to have lots of parties and all that, you want to look like extra nice. So I thought I'd buy a new foundation. And plus, I've been watching a lot of reviews on this and I've seen some pretty good reviews, which makes me want to try it. So this is my first impression on this thing right here. And I've got the number 305. I don't know if this is the correct like one for my skin tone. Um, I just got it because... I don't know, I, I opened it and I tried it on, but I don't, not too sure. I'm always kind of bad when I'm trying on foundation. But I'm just going to give it a try and see how it is. So as you can see right now, I have nothing on my skin. I just have my eyebrows and mascara on, but nothing on my skin. Um, if you wonder how my skin looks, a little blurry. So this is, that's how my skin looks right now. I have like here and there acne. I'm um, just like breaking out a little bit and... Here and there, but I've been using my medicine, so it's not so bad. But yeah, I'm just gonna try and use. Oh, I have my uh, uh, moisturizer on, so applying it. I'm not gonna be applying no concealer, nothing, just strictly this. And before I apply it, I'm just gonna like read the back part of it. So it says. One simple step for a flawless natural look that lasts all day. The formula blends easily to even skin tone and reduce shine all day. It's, uh, it's oil free and won't clog pores, suitable for sensitive skin and lasts all day. So I'm just gonna try it. Um, I have a lot of like oil on my skin like we said. So this is like an oil free uh, foundation. So we're just gonna like, give it a try and it smells like regular um, foundation. So I just have like one little squeeze. So I'm just gonna apply it like that. Uh, I'm just gonna use my fingers to do it because a lot of my brushes are dirty and hadn't had any time to. And from the looks of it, I think I got the correct skin tone. So this is my second coat. So this is my skin um, with the foundation on. I have no powder, nothing on it, but this is what it looks like. Um, I think it matched pretty well with my skin. Uh, normally I get it always like really white. I was going to get 220, but then I was like, no, I'm going to go for 305 just in case. So. I think I got the right skin tone. So, as you can see, I have it on right now. So yeah, I mean, when I put it on, it seems like fairly like, let's see, it's kind of liquidy. It's not like super, super thick, but it's not really like runny or watery like some are. Um, to me, I think it's like a good consistency and I think it blends well, as you can see. I guess you could say I really like this um, foundation. Uh, foundation. I really like this one. Um, I don't know how much it was. I think this was... I honestly don't know how much this was because when I went to Target, I like... 
I just grabbed it off the shelf and I paid for it with a bunch of other stuff that I bought. I would say it's about maybe like eight to nine dollars, eight maybe seven to nine dollars between that bracket. I'm pretty sure. And yeah, there's like a bunch of different colors that you can get. Um, I'm on 305. I was like I said, I got gold and tan, and I'm happy I got this one because I was gonna get 220, but it was. I'm glad I did it because this is like perfect for my skin tone. Yeah, I purchased this one at Target and I'm pretty sure they have it like all over. I'm pretty sure they have it like Walmart and I've seen it at Longstrugs if you live in Hawaii and I've seen it like pretty much all those like CVS stores so you can get this anyway. And I think you can put, um, put this on with like anything so I put this on with my fingers and so if it looks okay with your fingers I'm pretty sure it looks twice as better with like a brush. And yeah, I guess you can just set it with some powder. Um, I did it, I just put it on and I don't know. I think this is a, I'd say this is like an 8 out of 10. Um, I still like my MAC one, but my MAC one is like too expensive and I don't really want to spend that much money on foundation, which I hardly ever use. So this is a like a cheaper alternative. This scent is not as strong as the MAC one. Um, the MAC fluid line, I always tend to get like a stuffy nose. They're not a stuffy nose, it just kind of irritates my nose and it's so strong that it just starts becoming runny and I just, I don't like it, but I like the coverage of it. So this, I would say, I pretty much like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review slash short demo and first impression. Um, if you guys don't, then whatever. But if you guys do, then um, be sure to subscribe and like this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!